destruction, the loss of life. This slaughter was totally unnecessary. The very Ansu. Heathen Ashlanders attacked Muthna. This is a place of healing and refuge. We're a simple order, using the tear of Saint Veloth to help those afflicted by the Lodos Plague. They killed monks and afflicted alike without mercy. I gathered as many survivors as I could, but not everyone got out. Those monsters the very Ansu are tossing captives into the burning buildings. Our leader, Dolril Belvane, rushed back in to search for survivors and tried to protect the Tear of St. Veloth. He needs help. I'm worried about Dolril Belvane. Without his spiritual guidance in this time of tragedy, I fear our order will crumble. Still, he insists we must have the Tear of St. Veloth. And he could not bear to stand away while others suffer, so he remains in Muthna. Veloth shed the tear after he led the Kaima from Somerset to Morrowind. The artifact has the power to heal sicknesses. We haven't been able to cure the Lodos Plague, but the tear can slow the speed at which the plague ravages the afflicted. I don't know. They revere Veloth, call him the Prophet. They hate this plague and probably want the relic for themselves. But they disrupted our work, and now the plague husks are everywhere. Violent, unthinking monsters. Without our constant prayers to direct the power of the deer, many of the afflicted were suddenly overwhelmed by the plague, and they transformed into those creatures. All the time, if you must know. Doril is... unique. For the leader of a pacifist order of healers, Doril craves action. He can't help himself. He's attracted to trouble, and he always wants to do good. It's very confusing for the rest of us. see cunning in your eyes, and smell blood on your weapon. But if you're a very Ansu, I'm a bloated netch. What brings you to Muthna? Healer Senar worries too much. I never ran from a battle in my life, and I ain't about to start now. The very Ansu, bah! They fear the Lodos Plague. Their solution is to capture our monks and the afflicted alike and toss them in the fire. I won't stand for it. I traded my sword for a monk's robe, but I'm no coward. That's the spirit. If it's quiet to the east, run west, I always say. Just watch out for the plague husks and rescue whom you can. I'll take this poor soul and deliver her to Hila Senar. Come, child. So... What a horrible fate to befall these people. I know that. But Doral isn't the only one who won't abandon the afflicted. I can't just leave. Someone has to collect the medallions of the fallen. The medallions focus the power of the tear of Saint Vela. Wear one, and the effects of the plague are slowed. When the Ashlanders attack, the medallions were scattered. We have so few of them. They won't do anyone any good on these husks. Thank you for saving me. I knew Dora would send help. Thank the Tribunal. It was getting so hot in here. Praise Vivek. Did Doril send you? Thank the Tribunal. It was getting so hot in here. I need your help. They captured Doril. They tied him up and threw him into a burning building, and they continue to fan the flame. They consider our work to be blasphemous, and I'm leaving before something bad happens to me too. It's about time you showed up. I was beginning to get a bit charred round the edges. Fire. It's the very Ansu's answer to everything. To them, it purifies plague victims and blasphemers alike. Those Kwama droppings. I tried to circle around a pack of plague husks, 
and ran right into an Ashlander patrol. We can't go, not yet. The very Ansu believe we defiled the tear of St. Veloth. They plan to destroy it. We have to get to the monastery and save the tear. If they destroy it, we're all lost. since the war. Witch must have put a hex on the tear. Did you see that? Threw me clear across the room. By Veloth's hammer. That's the best news I've heard all day. Listen, the very Ansu are never going to leave us be. Not while their leader's still alive. I know that sounds terrible, but it's true. Yes, Ashkan Ginasa leads these Ashlanders. Go to the very Ansu camp and kill him. Cut off the head of the snake and the body dies. Then they won't threaten the tear of Saint Veloth ever again. Meet me on the north road when you finish. in our camp you will die for this is it done I put the tear of Saint Veloth in a safe place. By the three. Let's hope the very Ansu go home now. I just pray I haven't made things worse. I left the army to get the blood off my hands. But look, have my thanks. Did you recover any medallions? I hope so. I don't know what I was thinking. But I could just go out there and find them all by myself. Thank you. Once the relic is safe and the Ashlanders are gone, we'll be able to resume our work. I may not be brave, but if I can help my order treat the afflicted, I will. There's just too many of them. Quiet, or they'll notice us. I was trying to figure out how to sneak past all these Ashlanders so I could burn their supplies. They killed our father, and me and my brothers vowed revenge. It's just a foolish dream. I'm about as stealthy as a herd of guar. That I do. I would really like to see their supplies burn. Are you someone who could get in and out without getting killed? I can even give you a torch. If you do it, meet me and my brothers on the road north of Muthnar. Why did this happen to you? Then we are avenged. Our father is still dead. But at least the ones responsible for his death paid a price. Why don't I feel any better? 